Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. Welcome to a brand new tutorial. Suppose uh, you are working in a road construction project where a new road is about to be constructed. Your task is to determine the total number of structures that will be affected within a certain distance from both sides of the proposed road. In this video, you will learn how to identify the total number of structures within the required distances from the proposed road. This valuable information will enable you to pinpoint affected plots and gather ownership information. Additionally, you can apply this method to existing road improvement projects that are being extended from both sides. So let's get started with today's tutorial. You can see here area of interest and proposed road then existing built up area you can see over here and you can add base map here Uh, we will use uh, selection tools select by location select by attributes you can use uh, selection tools or you can use from here arc toolbox data management tools layers and table value views uh, you can find here also the same tools so before that we will perform a buffer analysis uh, we will uh, use 50 meter buffer from both sides of the uh, proposed road so for that go to search box and write buffer and click buffer analysis and input features just uh, add proposed road as input feature and then distance we will use 50 meter from both sides of the road and you need to be meters and after that you can save output features class uh, in a reserve uh, folder in your uh, computer and then click OK. So 50 meter buffer from uh, proposed uh, road has been done. You can change the field color, outline color as well. You can change outline width. You will find several options uh, yep, for symbol. Uh, uh, now uh, we will uh, make this buffer layer transparent. For that, go to layer properties and display and transparent 70%. Yes, now you can see 50% uh, buffer area from the proposed road. Now uh, we will identify uh, how many structures will be affected within these 50 meters. You can uh, rename the layer name from here. Buffer 50 meter, I'm renaming it. Uh, now we will use uh, this tool, layers and table views from here, or also you can use from selection. Yeah, select by location. Here, um, target layer. So, target layer would be existing built up areas and source layer, uh, or it will be proposed road. And apply a source distance, I mean 50 meter, 50 meter. Uh, so, I will convert decimal to meter changing. Okay. So, you can see over here. Uh, total number of structures within 50 meter uh, from both sides of the proposed road has been selected. Now uh, we will extract. Now we will extract uh, these structures from here. From existing built up area 
from data export data output feature class you can save output feature class in your uh, computer for a desired folder arcmap and click ok yes so total number of structures within 50 meter buffer area from both side of the river has been extracted you can see over here I'm renaming it as affected structure if I go to uh, attribute table you can see here detail information about uh, this structure that will be affected due to this road cross action project we will uh, we will uh, yep uh, we will select all the information by manually or you can select using select wall tool yep and then copy selected open excel we paste here total number of uh, structures and go to insert yeah have a table okay select structure type as value and as row as well so you can see here total uh, structure type kacha paka and semi paka total number of structure as per uh, type so renaming it structure structure type and then number so we got structure total structure number and structure type as well you can also use a uh, uh, different chart to uh, show your uh, result also you can uh, you can identify total uh, area of area type residential commercial or industrial so again as row structure use and then value so yeah number and here type commercial activity education research manufacturing mixed use religious residential restricted area several type of area you can use uh, several charts to display the results Yep. You can change the color. You can also uh, classify the affected structure from uh, properties. 
from uh, symbology and categories value field will be structured type and add all values so you can see here all the structure type uh, i mean area type you can uh, now prepare map layout i will add legend yeah legend has been added Uh, now north arrow you can select any north arrow from here and scale bar you can select any scale bar division units meet kilometers and click ok i hope now you can perform this type of task using js technology you can use same steps to identify total number of structures from the required buffer area of any proposed road construction project. This will help to identify affected settlements, ownership information that is needed for compensation and resettlement process as well. Um, thank you for watching. Till the next video, stay safe and healthy.